Welcome to our lesson about cycle recording. We're going to use cycle recording to lay down some ornamental tracks. First, I want to lay down another supporting track. I want to position that before the groove and cello start. What I'm going to do is move these events over. Let's position my cursor at bar 4. Now my cursor jumps to bar 4. Now let's select both events. Go to Edit. Scroll down to Move To and select Cursor. This is another way to move events. Now both of my events are lined up at bar 4 where I position the cursor. Now let's insert an audio track to hold our new work. Mono's good, OK. Rename it, I'll call it Breath Monster. In the notepad for this track, in the inspector panel, I'm going to type in the name of the instrument that I use for this. And press Enter to accept. The track is selected, record enabled, the monitor's on. Open the mixer. And let's do some testing of the levels. Check the routing. I'm going to check the loudest part, and it looks fairly hot, so I'll leave the levels as is, because it is not clipping the output. I'm going to pause my video for a few seconds while I record this track. And we're back. Let's return the cursor to zero and have a listen. Let me listen to that fade I just applied. We'll change the curve. OK. Let's apply a fade out, a longer one. Stop and return to zero. Restore the project window. Now let's add some more material, some ornaments. I'm going to work on some bells. When you cycle record, Cubase lets you record the area between the left and right locators over and over until you stop the recording. This is a good way to make a lot of takes and then perhaps make a composite of them. I'm going to lay down some ornaments that I can position in various places through this song. The cycle button on the transport panel is active. What we're going to do next is set the left and right locators around the part that I want to cycle record. We'll need to leave a little extra room on either end of the locators to allow for reverb trails, experimentation, etc. This will make it a bit easier to edit the event later on, too. We also want a little time to prepare for the take, and that's so we don't feel panicked about jumping into the next take. Otherwise, I'll just mess it up and it'll be a useless take. Often, the more takes you make, the worse your playing gets, so it's nice to get it right in the first few tries. Let's take a look at the right locator. There's my extra room there also. You'll remember that in our last lesson, we talked about what are called the linear record modes. That's for when you're recording, but you're not in cycle mode. Normal, merge, and replace. Normal and Merge work the same way for audio tracks. There's a difference when you're recording MIDI, and that we'll talk about soon. Underneath, we've got the cycle recording modes, indicated by this loop symbol here. Let's talk about the different options we've got in the drop-down menu. Mix MIDI. This works in the MIDI environment like Merge, but in the audio environment, it just overlaps your takes. Overwrite is a replace mode for MIDI. Keep last. This lets you keep whatever was recorded in the last complete lap. If you start playing a lap but stop before the lap's done, Cubase won't keep that one, and that's a good mode for when you want to record different takes until you get the perfect one. Stacked we'll talk about in our next lesson, and for now we're just going to work with Mix MIDI. Don't forget to record enable your track, select it, turn the monitor on, etc. 
Now click the L button on the transport panel. This takes us to the left locator and makes sure that we start recording at the left locator. When you're ready to start recording, click the record button on the transport panel. We're going to cycle through a couple times. Each cycle or take is called a lap. And let's stop recording. There's our two takes. They're labeled Take 2 and Take 1. Let's check out how we can listen to them and pick the one that we like. What we can do is Alt or Option right-click on the new event. Scroll to Move To and then select Front or Back. Now take one is in the front and take two is in the back. That's how we can audition our first take. Let's Alt or Option and right click again and put take one to the back. Now take two's in the front and if we play back, we'll hear take two. We need to disable the monitor to listen, of course. We can also use the Alt or Option right click and scroll up to two front or set to region. And then here we select which take to put in front. Set to region will list all of our takes here and the active take will be marked with a check mark. We just choose which one we'd want to make the active take. Now take ones in the front. This way we don't have to delete a take to listen to the alternate. And this concludes our first lesson about cycle recording on an audio track. In our next tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Keep Last and Stacked Recording Modes.